This is the math guy, Steve. Let's solve this equation. So, in solving this equation, it's a quadratic equation, right? So, in order to solve it, what we need to do is, okay, first, get zero on one side, got it, and then factor the other side. Now, I've done a problem like this before, but someone asked, okay, well, how exactly do you factor this left-hand side, all right? Now, it's three terms, so if it's a quadratic with three terms and there's a one in front, we go straight to what we call a double bubble, okay? So, put this double set of parentheses, all right? So, double bubble, all right, x and x. Then the numbers that multiply to give me 70, all right, multiply to give me the C, and then combine to give me this B, combine to give me this negative 17, okay? So if I list out numbers of seven, uh, uh, factors of 70, we get, okay, 70, we would say 1 in 70, uh, 2 in 35, 3 doesn't work, 4 doesn't work, but 5 and 14, okay, uh, 6, no, 7 and 10, 8 and 9 don't work. So I think that's all the factors of 70. And so we pick the ones that combine to give me this 17. Okay, so 7 and 10 are the ones. However, uh, we have a negative 17, so we put negative both, right? So negative 7 and negative 10. There we go, there we go. So I combine to give me negative 17 and then multiply to give me 70. All right, so we get zero one side, factor the other side. Now I'll set each factor equal to zero. So uh, x minus 7 equals zero x minus 10 equals 0, and solve each of those separately, right? So here, we can add 7, so x equals 7. Got it, got it. And here, we can add 10, so x equals 10. And those will be our two solutions to this equation. And again, of course, you can always um, check it by plugging it back into the original equation, see if you get a true statement, okay? Always remember, math is everywhere.